Hi, welcome to another edition of Wired for Wealth, guiding you to achieve lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm John McGregor, your antidote to your financial struggles. My goal for you is for you to think better so you can do better, so you can feel better about your financial situation. And that's what this episode is all about. As we all know, 2022 is quickly approaching. It's amazing how quick this year has gone by, despite all the craziness, right? But we are almost into a new year. So my question is, what's the new year going to look like for you? Have you started to think about what your goals are, what you want to accomplish in this new year? This is an excellent time to reflect on how you want to design next year and beyond for your health and your wealth and abundance for you and your family. This is when you really need to start thinking about, I know there's a lot of distractions going on, but this is where you need to think about how you're going to kick off your new year. So you start with a bang, you start running, not walking, thinking, wondering how you're going to approach the new year. You're going to be ready for that. So it's a little unusual uh, episode today um, because I want to talk about some non-financial things, very easy things that you can be doing. You can incorporate in your life super easily to really kickstart your next or the next year and kickstart your financial life. There is a direct correlation between how you're living your life, the habits and the behaviors and your financial life. Look, I talk to a lot, a lot of people, whether I'm at the gym or just emails or messages or what have you. And invariably people tell me I'm, they're struggling financially. They're living paycheck to paycheck. They never know if they're ever going to be able to retire or certainly retire the way they've always envisioned. They're scared and freaked out about their financial future. And when I drill down and I start asking more about their life, their lifestyle, how they're going about their day, what do they do when they wake up? How do they operate? Who are they spending time with? I will tell you, most of the time, those people that are struggling financially is because they don't have structure in their life. They're just kind of winging it from the time they wake up to the time they go to bed, bouncing from one thing to the next, one opportunity to another thing. And it's all about those little things that you do. And I will tell you, of all the thousands of people I've worked with, worked with a lot of very wealthy, very successful people, the difference between those that are successful and those who struggle are the daily habits that they incorporate. And I'm not talking financial, it's just how they conduct their life. So, so today I want to talk about eight easy habits to position yourself for massive success. Little things turn into big wins. I will tell you that firsthand. These are a lot of things I've done myself to become financially free and independent at a very young age. And these are certainly things that you can do. And these are things that I've gathered from other people as well. So, all right, let's get into it. Number one, turn off the music and turn on a podcast or an audio book or a YouTube or some educational form, whatever. Look, I used to listen to music in the gym. I used to think I needed music to motivate me, inspire me. That is absolute nonsense. I spent an hour and a half to two hours of my of every day in the gym and I get two hours of learning. It's amazing. And that doesn't include the driving time between the gym and, and back forth and running errands and, and so forth. So I am almost reading a book, one book every single week, if not more than that. And everyone can do the same, whether you're driving, you're cooking, you're walking, uh, you're in the gym or whatever it is, turn off the music and turn on a podcast or an audiobook. It's a super easy way to really further your education in any type of subject that you're interested in, whatever it is. But this is a real key driver between those who succeed and those who are struggling. It's how they spend their time. All right, number two, wake up an hour earlier. Think about this. If you woke up an hour earlier for seven days, that's seven extra hours you have for your future, for productivity, to do other things that are more associated with what you want in the future for 2022. But I will say, do this gradually. Don't start off and set your alarm an hour earlier tonight. Do it in five-minute increments. Increments. Start with five minutes earlier tomorrow and do that for a few days, even a week, then add another five minutes and do that for a week. You see where I go until you get to an hour. If you just start off with an hour, you're going to shock your system and it's not going to last. So think about that. Seven extra hours a week, 28 extra hours a month. That's a full day of just extra time you have to apply to your, uh, for your future. All right. Number three. 
Start your day with three to five morning rituals. I will tell you, scientifically based, people who have incorporated rituals have a much more successful life. They feel more in control and more confident and less stress. That's right. Rituals actually lower stress levels because what happens, especially in the morning, if you're starting with structure and guidance and guardrails on your life, you're more in tune to what's going on. I'm not talking about habits like brushing your teeth. No, I'm talking about specific things that you're incorporating in the morning to further your purpose, further your goals, further your mission in life. And they could be very, very simple. It could be making your bed. It could be listening to some positive, uh, something positive. It could be reading a book. It could be journaling. It could be going for a walk. It could be exercising. It could be taking a cold shower, which by the way, is an amazing, I know difficult, but an amazing way to start your day. I will tell you, those people that I know who are successful live with purpose. And that means incorporating rituals into their life. And that's what I have done. And I will tell you, it gets me focused in the morning. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And it keeps me on track. I'm not wandering around wondering what I'm going to do next. And all these rituals actually position myself for success. So write them down three to five, just start off slow and then add to them down the road as you get more comfortable with them. Write them down, put them next to your bed especially in the morning, because as they say, you win your morning, you'll win your day. All right. Number four, write down the vision you see for yourself and keep that visible everywhere. Could be a simple sentence, could be a small paragraph, but most people I've seen have not taken the time to really think about the vision they want for them and their family going forward. Again, most people are just winging it at life, winging it at life and hoping for the best. And I will tell you, hope is not a financial strategy. Hope is not a retirement strategy. So write down, take a little time and write down the vision you see for yourself and keep that visible everywhere. I mean, next to your bed, on your bathroom mirror, on your refrigerator, in your car dashboard somewhere, in your office. Continue to see that vision you see for yourself. It's super, super important so that you have that and you identify what you're doing every single day. Is it in line with your vision? If not, then you need to change. It's, 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 a, it's a constant reminder of where you want to be and where you deserve to be in the future. All right, number five, I want you to identify someone who is doing well that you know or successful or someone that you admire and invite them for coffee or lunch or, or whatever it is and ask them for you for their advice on how they became successful. This is in a form of a mentorship in a way. And if they seem, seem inclined to, they could become a long-term mentor for you. Mentorship is absolutely critical to your success. No one has accomplished anything without some type of a mentor or a coach. And I will tell you the most flattering thing you can ask somebody is ask them for their advice. And if they turn, your, turn you down, they just did you a favor. Then they are not the right person to go to. But when you ask for someone's advice, they immediately become inherently interested in your success and they will pour a lot of good, positive and motivating information into you. Identify more than one. Keep going. Find others. The more you surround yourself with these types of people, the more you're positioning yourself for future success. All right, number six, very similar to number five, uh, but I want you to think about the people you hang out with and surround yourself with on a regular basis. If you're hanging around with negative people or unsuccessful people, more than likely you are positioning yourself for failure because what how they're living their lives will translate and rub off on you. It's biological, it's neurological. We have mirror neurons and the more you uh, the more you spend time with people that are not in your best interest or are not succeeding, the more likely it's going to hold you back um, and, and prevent you from making the changes that you need to make. So make sense? All right. Number seven. I know this is going to be a tough one, but not really. I want you to limit your social media to once a day and set a time limit. Better yet, take an entire social media day off. I mean, think about it. In fact, you can look on your phone how much time you're spending on these social medias. It keeps track. And you will find most of the time, most of the people that I know that are financially struggling are spending a ton of time on social media. They're wasting their time. I fell into that trap 
myself. And when I finally realized like, oh my gosh, this, this is ridiculous. I've completely shut that out. Now, for the most part, I only check it in the mornings and I just, just so I, I know what's going on and, and what's happening. Other than that, it's been a time drain and, and now it's really saved a lot of time and made myself a lot more productive and happier, believe it or not. So limit your social media and stick to that. All right, lastly, and, and similar to number four, take some time every day to reflect on your current life versus the, the vision that you set out for yourself. The more you ponder this and reflect on this, the more your vision will be front and center when it comes time to making decisions on where you spend time, who you spend time with, where you spend your money. And you're going to start wondering, are all these decisions I'm doing, all this time and money, does this fit with the vision? And I will tell you, you will start making better decisions in your life with your money, with your time and so forth. This vision is so, so important. That's why it's it's brought up twice in this list of eight things that I suggest you to do. Notice these are non-financial things. These are habits. These are rituals that you're going to incorporate in your life. And I will tell you, will be a game changer in the long term. And it just starts with a, a couple of small little things. It's how you live your life. That's the key. That will drive and dictate so much of the outcome in your future. But also remember, vision without action is just a dream, right? You've got to take action. All right. So those are the eight things that I want you to think about, especially as we go into the new year. These can be game changers and they're very easy to incorporate and they are very healthy. And again, they're going to position yourself for massive growth going forward. With that, as you know, hit the bell below, hit subscribe and leave a comment. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Um, with that, we've got a lot of free stuff on my website that you can download immediately to start your journey to financial freedom and peace of mind. And don't forget to check out my online course called Thrive Path, your journey to financial freedom and peace of mind. It's been very well received, super excited about it, put a lot of work into this, and I think you're going to get a lot out of it. With that, we'll see you next time. Take care, upward and onward. Bye-bye.